happened to the better. How the better became the better. Now there was in selling these? Yeah, the hats are five, the scarves are 10, and uh, the afghans are 20. Uh, you know what, I'll take this one. All right, great. I only have 15. Okay, but they're 20. Oh, I can give you 15. <laughs> okay, that works. Now we have May from Sacramento on the line. May? Okay, first off, I disagree it's a non-issue. I did not say non-issue. I'm just not sure how much stake we really need to put in it in this modern age with the world's knowledge at our disposal. Same difference. We as a civilization have lost that sense of wonder, that sense of exploration. Humanity evolved because of that key difference. Neanderthals decided to stay put and not expand their views. And that led to their downfall. But Neanderthals did not have smartphones. Homo sapiens didn't need smartphones. That's the point. Nicholas Steno, right? Danish pioneer in anatomy and geology. He decided not to recognize published material as gospel. Chose to make up his own mind to fact and see things for himself. And today is known as the father of geology and stratigraphy. Point being? Point being, who can you point to today and say that about? These people are the modern-day pioneer of anything self-gratifying and self-sufficient, not a one. And then we look back and call these people crap pots, all the while making amazing breakthroughs in science and culture, and for all that, they are as equally ridiculed. They are ridiculed because Tesla fell in love with a pigeon and Beethoven cut the legs off of his piano, not because of their uh, natural inclination to look for the unknown. All I'm saying is, where are the ones looking for the unknown? Now, right. Wait, wait, wait. Please don't change this station. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh, thank God. Can you hear me? I can hear you. <laughs> they stuck me here, with no one to talk to, or hear from. No one ever listens. It's always so quiet here. I honestly didn't even know if I can take another night of silence.
Hello? Why did you do that? I told you not to do that. Who are you? Are you hurt? Are you in trouble? What do you want me to... Will you talk to me? Help fill my space? Is your space as empty as mine? It seems so. That's why we found each other. That way we don't have to be alone and feel unwanted. What's your name? I bet it's really pretty. Are you there? Don't tell me you've left me already. Sonia. My name is Sonia. Do you have a name? They never gave me one. Who's they? I like you, Sonia. I think we could be friends. Do you have many friends? You probably do. But none like me, though, huh? I have friends. I... <laughs> There's lots of people that care about me. Where are you? I don't really know. I just stay in the same place all the time. Sometimes, though, when you're not looking, I know a secret way out. But I can't get to it usually. I can't even tell you the last time that I saw real sunlight. Can you tell me why you're there? I don't think friends ask each other those kinds of things. Friends just make jokes and play games. Actually, that's exactly what friends do. Friends tell each other things. They confide... Yeah, what would you know? Huh? You're lonelier than I am. You don't think I can tell by your tone? Well, you probably need me more than I... Not unwanted. Thank you.